What's going on everyone, Mr. Nato5 here with another Battle of Forum. Since I recently talked about the Naruto series, that is by the way very popular worldwide, I thought why not let them battle for once against each other. One of my previous battles involved the Avengers vs the Akatsuki. You can always click the link down below or go to the playlist for it, the link is also down below. So in this battle, we'll let in my eyes the best Uchiha members facing each other. On your left you have basically the god Madara Uchiha and on your right you have the bandit Obito Uchiha who is going to come out victorious in a devastation battle. Now obviously some of you guys if not all of you are going to say quickly Madara Uchiha is going to come out victorious and it's easy to assume that after watching Madara battle the shinobi army on his own, on his own with only his own chakra reserve, his own taijutsu, genjutsu and ninjutsu skills, Madara is simply a beast and is really really unstoppable. He has absolutely no limits. There is a list of skills he has and trust me guys, it's a very very long list. He has the Sharingan, whether it's only the base Sharingan or the eternal Mangekyu Sharingan. He has the Rinnegan. He has the legendary wood release and even storm release. He has sensor skills. He can even he can even heal himself, clone himself more than 20 times and giving his clones the Susano armor. He can even call upon meteorites and even comets. Guys, this guy can can even absorb chakra and heal himself. I could go on, but I just want you to know that he is very strong and that I haven't even mentioned half of what this shinobi can do. It's also very important that you understand that we're only going to focus on Madara during his battle in the 4th Great Ninja War, but not as a 10 tails Jinshuriki, That's, that'll be cheating. I'll give more details about this battle in a minute. I first would like to give a little more about Obito. And Obito, he of course is far from being at the same level as Madara. His KK Genka are limited to the Sharingan, the Mangekyu Sharingan, the Rinnegan and the Wood Release. Now, Obito, I'd rather use the name Toby because I was a little, a little bit disappointed in the character later on in the series. But yeah, Toby has always been a very mysterious shinobi, both in his identity as in his fighting skills. Because first of all, he's always well informed about the skills of his opponents, meaning that he's always a few steps ahead. He rarely uses ninjutsu, meaning that it's not really an easy thing to know what he has in his ninjutsu arsenal. I've never seen him lose a close range taijutsu battle except when he fought against Kakashi and Minato and let me say a thing about these two battles. Kakashi faced Obito in the other dimension and he needed the help of three guys to be able to face Tobi head on like that. If it would have been a solo battle there is no way Kakashi would have done anything. Minato is the only one to have defeated Tobi in a fair battle thanks to his amazing speed. So obviously Tobi is a very dangerous character and can easily pose a major threat. You might think that even if I gave you all these details about Obito that he still wouldn't win this battle. Why do I think that you'd be wrong if you think like that? Well it's because of one single technique that only Tobi masters, the Kamui. A powerful Mangekyu Sharingan Dojutsu that creates a unique form of space-time ninjutsu, allowing the user to achieve two associated feats, namely teleportation and intangibility. Minato stated that this technique surpasses by far both his and the second Hokage space-time ninjutsu. So this technique is above the Kage level, meaning that it's something. The technique can be used in an offensive as defensive way and it requires no seal or summoning tattoo. I don't know how Madara would somehow be able to find his way through the technique. Madara's techniques are all physical except maybe for his genjutsu skills which would probably be of no use against Tobi. So there would be no meteorites, no fireballs and even no Susano that would even be able to harm Tobi. I do know that Tobi can, can't use the attack infinitely like Madara could but this battle gives us a lot of food for thought because in the end no technique is going to be effective if you're not able to physically connect your attack 
And you can't forget that Toby still has other attacks and that his chakra supply isn't to be underestimated since he's almost never seen to be out of breath. But in the end, you can have a bunch of techniques, but sometimes all it takes is one single technique to change the course of the battle in your favor. So who's going to win the battle? Give me your arguments and let's have our debate. See you guys.